Afghanistan has been a melting pot of Eurasian ethnicities since ancient times. Tribal displacements, wars, invasions and assimilations have all led to a heterogeneous ethnic composition of the population. The exact number of Afghanistan's inhabitants is unknown. Last year, experts put the country's population at more than 34 million. The Asia Foundation researchers note that the largest ethnic group in Afghanistan are Pashtuns, who account for about 40% of the population. About 15 million people. Tajiks are the second largest ethnic group, amounting to 11 to 13 million people or 33% of the country's population. No exact figures are available for Uzbeks, their numbers are between 2.7 to 3.5 million or about 9 to 10 percent of the Afghan's population. The other ethnic groups, Turkmens, Amaks, Baluts and others have a much more modest presence in Afghanistan. Tajiks and Uzbeks together account for about 50 percent of the population of Afghanistan. Half of the population of the country's capital, Kabul, consists of members of these ethnic groups. According to some estimates, the city is home to around 2 million Tajiks and Uzbeks. The average life expectancy of men is 44.8 years, of women 45.3 years. This is below the world average life expectancy of about 71 years according to the Population Division of the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs. Afghanistan's population in 2022 is 42,700,578 including 3 million nomads and 39.08 million sedentary people. The average projection is 100 million by 2000. Afghanistan is one of the most ethnically diverse countries in the world. Dozens of people and many tribes have lived in its territories since time immemorial. All the Tajiks and Uzbeks have their own nation-states, millions of them live in Afghanistan. How did they end up there? The Pashtuns are the largest ethnic group and constitute about 42% of Afghanistan's population. Pashtuns or Afghans are an Iranian people mainly inhabiting southeastern, south and southwestern Afghanistan, whose main distinguishing characteristics are the Pashto, an eastern Iranian language and a tradition of nomadism. The exact number of Pashtuns cannot be estimated due to the lack of census in Afghanistan since 1979, but they are roughly estimated at 42 million worldwide. Of whom only 30% live in Afghanistan, where Pashtuns are the leading and dominant ethnic group in the country. Tajiks in Afghanistan are the second largest ethnic group in modern Afghanistan, numbering between 10 to 14 million according to various sources. Determining the share of Tajiks in the population of Afghanistan is very difficult. No asystematic census has been conducted in the country for several decades. Different sources give varying estimates ranging from 27% to 39%. This is even more than in Tajikistan itself, which has only 9 million Tajiks. Afghan Uzbeks Uzbeks in Afghanistan are the third largest ethnic group in modern Afghanistan amounting according to various estimates to 2.8 to 4 million people. Uzbeks are Turk-speaking and practice Sunni Islam. Uzbek is the regional language of some of the northern provinces of Afghanistan. The traditional occupation of the Uzbek is agriculture. They also speak a dialect of Fargana and use Arabic alphabet. In addition to the high self-identification of Uzbeks living in North Afghanistan, some Uzbeks belong to the Kurumin, Manjit, Kongrad, Lokai, Dormen, Ming, Yuzi, Barlas, Karagan, Karluks, Sunaks, Kipchaks, Neiman, Kangla, Chagatays, and so on. More than 20 tribes. Although all ethnographic groups of Uzbek recognize themselves as Uzbeks, they nevertheless continue to preserve their historical roots, sometimes calling their nationality Uzbek Manjit or Uzbek Kipchak or so on. In the steppes of the Amudaria River Basin, northwest Afghanistan, several Turk-speaking groups live – Turkmen's, Uzbeks and others. The former inhabit the northern parts of Afghanistan, above all Faryab and Bargis. The latter are rather compact in the northern foothills of the Hindukush on the territory of the Char Valiant, four provinces, where before their conquest by the Afghans in the middle. The Uzbek Khanates of the Meiman, Aksha, Balkh, and Kunduz existed there before their conquest by the Afghans in the mid-19th century. 
Today, these are the areas of Herat, Faryab, Josan, Balkh, Tohar, Kunduz, Baglan, and Badakashan. Both are also Sunni Muslims and retain a strictly patriarchal society structure. Their main occupations are farming and cattle breeding, and the Turkmen are also renowned as skilled carpet makers. Often, Uzbeks and Turkmens live in the same area together with Tajiks and Afghans without mixing. Hazaras are the fourth largest ethnic group in the country, a people of Mongolian origin, accounting for about a fifth of the population of Afghanistan. The self named Hazaras is Hizari. The word Hizari in Iranian languages mean a thousand. Apparently, the backbone of this nation was made up of warriors left behind by the Chinggisids after the conquest of Afghanistan in 1221-1223. The Mongol garrison warriors of the Guard Hundreds mingled with the local Iranian-speaking people, acquiring their language as a result of their long residence in Afghanistan. Their settlement area, the mountainous Azarjat region, occupies the central part of mountainous Afghanistan, but to the northeast of Hazari is cut deep into Tajik population, Kohistan and Badakhshan and in some places, they intersperse with Tajik villages. Or occupy some side valleys along the Panjshir, Adarab, etc. The Khazars are Iranian-speaking Shiites of mixed Mongolian, Turk and Iranian origin living in central Afghanistan. The people consist of tribes, among which there are Burjijin, Barlas, Neyman, Oirat, Joler, Keriet, Merket, Basalt, Bulagar, Ongut, Barin, Tatar, Ujet, Bayet, Saljiut, Kidan, Gorlos, Harachin, Katachin, Ushin, Karluks, Kipchaks, Uyghurs, Turkmen, Kazakhs, Kyrgyz, and other tribes. The Emaks or Charaimaks are the fifth largest ethnic group, a combination of Iranian speaking tribal groups Jemshid, Firuz Kui, Taimani, Taimuri, living in northwest Afghanistan and north Iran and predominantly semi nomadic. Their population is estimated at around 5%, representing a mix of Iranian-speaking tribal groups, predominantly semi-nomadic, living in northwest Afghanistan. The term Aymak is of East Turkic Mongolian origin. The vast majority of Aymaks speak Persian. The Aymaks include or include the following tribal groups, Firuzkui, Taimani, and Taimuri. Turkmen, believed to be the sixth largest ethnic group in Afghanistan, lived in the northwestern part of the country, in the provinces of Baghdiz, Faryab, and Jauzan bordering Turkmenistan. Afghanistan's Turkmens are the second largest and most important groups of Turkmen ethno outside present-day Turkmenistan after Iranian Turkmens. They live in the northwest of the country along the border with Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan surrounded by more numerous Afghan Uzbeks. The number of Turkmen in the country is estimated to around 1 million, 2-3%. The Nuristanis are a group of cognate tribes inhabiting primarily Nuristani province in northeast Afghanistan, with some also living in Kunar province and Chitral district in Pakistan. The settlement area consists of the inaccessible valleys of the southern slopes of the Hindu Kush and the upper reaches of the Ali Nagar, Peach, and other rivers. Nuristan tribes number about 120,000 people. They speak Nuristan languages, which are part of Indo Iranian languages. Until the 19th century, this region was called Karfiristan, land of infidels, and its inhabitants as Kafirs. This name was given by its Muslim neighbors when Timur acted against the Kafirs during his Indian campaign. This was due to the fact that the locals continued to be pagans. In 1896, after the conquest of Kafiristan by the troops of Afghan Emir Abdel Rahman Khan, Islam began to spread there. And the Kafir country was renamed Nuristan, land of light, and the inhabitants became known as Nuristanis.